Hello guys, so I just wanted to relaunch this video again related to finding your niche ID using Spidermin. I am using Spamzilla. This is a paid tool. If you want the free method on how you can do this, I link a video resource in the description below. You can access that. Now, the simplest way you can find your niche when creating a directory is here in Spamzilla. There is a search box here, which also available in the free method that I am adding in the description below. So here, you just need to add directory. In this way, as you can see, you will be able to find easily some ideas or even the domain itself. You can use that to create a directory. All right. So just an example, this one, Chicago business directory. So what I can see here, you can create a dedicated directory for all businesses, local services within Chicago, which is really great to have because you are dedicated to the city itself. I have an example of that. So as you can see right here, I created one directory dedicated to Evansville in Indiana. So as you can see, all the businesses, I should be adding all the local businesses within the Evansville. For example, have the cafe, hotel, park, restaurant, store, school, so everything. For example, you want to go to cafe. So as you can see here, it will list all the popular cafes in particularly in Evansville. So you can see right there, you can also go for hotel. You will see it's listing all the hotels in Evansville, Indiana. We also have the city of Woodbury in Minnesota. So you can see right here, we've got the local businesses, cafe, grocery, park, restaurant, school. And you also have the popular places in Woodbury, which are the restaurant, cafe. So all the local businesses, that's the idea I can give you if you ever purchase an expired domain related to city. The way we did it, it's very simple. I'm also going to put a link in the description below how you're going to start a dedicated city-based directory if you want to do that. So just to show you how you're going to scrape the data using the GFA scraper. So click this. So for example, you want to start with the basic one. So restaurant, cafe, let's say, hotel, like that. And you're going to select United States. And if you want to select the specific city or region, you're going to have to do the state of Chicago, which is Illinois, just like that. And pick this enable city suburb and you're going to have it Chicago. All right. So that's how you're going to do that for a city based directory and then scrape whichever number you need. Just remember the query you added initially. Suppose you want to use the offset token. So you can start with a minimum like 5100 listings of the combined restaurant, hotel, cafe. And if you want to grow, then just use the offset token that you will have here, just like this, when you already scrape the data. The full instruction is in the description below uh, the video on how I did that. You can easily follow that. So that's the approach if you're going ahead with the city-based directory. But for niche directory or Google categories directory, what you can do, that's simpler because let's grab some more example here, like this one. People read directory online.com. The benefits of looking at the expired domain where to find the ideas for your next directory, you can buy the domain itself, the expired domain, and you will have the main rating available. So for example, you want this like here, I think this one is India-based directory, and it already has 16 domain rating and has some bad things. So that's the advantage of starting the directory using expired domain. And this one, doctor's directory, this is a really great and profitable directory that you can start. It has already the domain rating and this one is all about health. So if you want to check that, you can go to listing categories overview and find something related to doctors or let's say doctor. Look at that. There is a doctor business listing or Google category that you can use to scrape data. So you can have a specific country to start your doctor listing just like that. So if you want to go for United States, I think there are thousands of them. Okay. You start with maybe 1000 listings or 2000 listings and then grow your directory. In that way, you can acquire lots of traffic and add affiliate related links to medical. Or once you have enough traffic and your site is 60 days old, then you can apply Google AdSense and earn revenue from display ads. Just like some of our directories here, for example, this Toilet Australia directory, as you can see, we've got ads here. Those are Google AdSense ads. So you can see I'm listing the all the toilets within Australia, which has, I also scrape from here. So I use the public toilet, just like that public bathroom to scrape all the big toilets in Australia or any country that you want. This is also Google AdSense approved. You will see here, this is a particular niche related to fence contractors around Australia. You can also start with this niche and later on grow it so for that one, I use the fence, just like that fence contractor. And also you can do the fence supply store. So bike shelf uh, ideas you can get from here. Cuba export directory. So you can have this as maybe any, any B2 export, particularly in Cuba. So like this one, green product 
directory. So that means it's taking care of the environment or ecosystem. So you can scrape products related to, let's say, let's type green. So as you can see, there's greenhouse. So you can build a directory around greenhouse. Then you can purchase this expired domain. You will have some starting backlinks. Let's go to the page two. And here you can have the nurturingbirthday.com directory. This is a great one. The main rating is 36, although it's GoDaddy option. So it would go like $1,000 or $500. Look at this, directoryofcolleges.org. So you can have directory around uh, universities and colleges. So let's see, college. So look at that, college is available or university. Yeah, so right there, girl snowboarding directory. Well, this is a really great niche, very specific to girls only. Let's see if there's any snowboarding related directory. Snow, snowboard, look at that, snowboard shop, snowboard rental. Okay, it's a vegetable directory, I, I think. You can have affiliate programs related to snowboarding and you can start with this expired domain. So lots of ideas, either you get the expired domain, so you have the D or you start it from scratch. That's also fine, as long as you have the idea. So basically two things you're doing here, finding ideas and the same time you can purchase the expired domain right away. Make sure the icons that you are gonna purchase will be like this, okay? So it's this clap icon, that means you can purchase this right away. If you see this, it may go to auctions and also this one named ship auctions and this one is GoDaddy auctions. So you may need to spend at least $500 for that domain. I like this. So let's say you want this trade directory. You can just copy the directory name and go to any domain provider, let's say the spaceship.com and type that if you go on search. As you can see right here, you can purchase this right away, just $8.88. But if you're gonna check the GoDaddy auction, so you, you still see here, it will start from $1, but this is eight days auction. So probably it will reach around $500 in my experience. It is stable right here, the recently sold directory. This one, Kingdom Business Directory, got sold for $279. Assisted Living Directory, $850. Look at that. Catholic Business Directory, sold for $1087. I have a church directory located in Australia. So look at these churches in Australia. You can see I'm listing all the churches around Australia. Catholic Church. I started with Catholic Church, but I, I'll be spanning this Catholic Church. As long as there is a Google category, then it will be easy to scrape. So if you want to start with yours, I have some resources below. In the description, you can watch those. I have lots of tutorials related to creating or starting your own done. Profitable. Again, you can use this method, expired domain method, which is really great on finding some niche ideas and eventually purchasing the expired domain. Look at this. There is a crypto directory.org. I'm not sure if there is a crypto related Google category. Anyway, let's see. Crypto. Oh, crypto ATM. It's existing. You can have the finance. It's also connected with crypto. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing more of this so that you can get more ideas on which directory to start. I'll be showing you some expired domain. Maybe you can purchase them if you want. Okay, you go ahead with uh, this one, Green Pro Directory. This is available if you just search on this. Or you can have the Chicago Business Directory, basically dedicated to Chicago area, all the local businesses, just like what I showed you. So you can do that. It's 15 year old domain. So most probably uh, Google will trust you if this is not a spammy domain. I hope you learned something from this one. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, let me think. See you on the next one.